Learning about other countries and geography is important, and with the FIFA 2022 World Cup just around the corner, I think it's time to do a video on a country that I called home for four years, Qatar. Qatar is a small Arabic country of more than 2.9 million people that is part of the Middle East, a group of countries in North Africa, Asia and Eastern Europe, with similar religious beliefs and cultures. Its capital is Doha, at just over 11,500 kilometers squared, a little smaller than the combined size of Cork and Kerry for my Irish viewers. Bye. Qatar is the second smallest country in the Middle East. It can be found jutting out into the Persian or Arabian Gulf, and because it is almost entirely surrounded by water, we call it a peninsula. Through Qatar's history, the Arabian Gulf has played an important role. Fishing, pearl diving, sailing, and trade routes would not have been possible if it weren't for the Arabian Gulf. The sea is of great importance to the people of Qatar and their heritage, and is one of the reasons for the points on the Qatar flag. The Qatar flag is a mixture of white representing peace and maroon representing bloodshed loss in the wars. The nine points separating these colours on the flag represents that Qatar was the ninth country of the reconciled emirates. The colour maroon was chosen instead of red to represent the bloodshed because of Qatar's hot subtropical climate which would have tinted the red colour to become a darker colour anyway. Qatar is a desert country consisting of rolling sand dunes and rocky terrain. To the north is Zakrete with some interesting limestone rock formations carved by the desert winds. While desert coastline, sand dunes and the inland sea can be found to the south of Qatar. Qatar has a hot and dry climate. Summers in Qatar are from May to September and can be described as being dry and intensely hot with temperatures reaching as high as 45 degrees Celsius. Winters however are a lot milder with the average temperature being between 24 to 34 degrees Celsius. However temperatures can fall as low as 5 degrees Celsius. Being a desert country not many plants and animals can survive in Qatar but there are a few plants and animals that have adapted to surviving in this extreme environment. Date palms, mangroves, acacia trees and succulent plants can be found growing across the country, while animals such as the dromedary camel, flamingo, Rupel's fox, falcon, jewel beetle and oryx, which is Qatar's national animal, can also be found there. The population of Qatar is 2.9 million people, but of that only 15% are Qatari nationals. Qatar is home to a diverse population of immigrants from around the world. The main religion of Qatar is Muslim and the main language spoken is Arabic. However, most people speak English as well. Qatari citizens have their own national dress. Women wear a black dress called an abaya and a black headdress called a Sheila. Men wear a long white shirt and baggy white trousers called a thobe. They also wear a headdress called a gutra. Being a peninsula in the Arabian Gulf and having an abundance of date palms, seafood and dates are a staple food in Qatar. However, Qatar does also have many of its own traditional Arabic cuisine. These include Qatari machabous, which is a local type of kabza, which is rice, meat and vegetables mixed with spice. Guzi, a whole lamb served over a nutty rice. Madruba, which is a spicy and comforting Qatari porridge made with chicken, overcooked rice and spices. Popular drinks include Arabic coffee and karak, a delicious milky cardamom tea that can be found in tea shops all over Doha. There are many more food and drinks, but we can cover this in a future video. In the past, Qatar's economy relied mostly on fishing and pearl diving. This was until 1940 when oil and gas was discovered in Dukan Field. The discovery of oil and gas has rapidly transformed Qatar and its capital Doha from a unpopulated area to a thriving city full of futuristic architecture and luxurious experiences. With the construction of many luxurious five-star hotels and man-made islands, tourism is on the rise in Qatar. This November in 2022, more people than ever will be visiting Qatar for the FIFA World Cup. Qatar has built eight stadiums to host the World Cup each with their own significance to Qatari culture. That's all you need to know about Qatar. Why not learn about Qatar and its extreme desert environment in your school and compare it to your own country or a different country? We did this in my current school in Vietnam and completed many activities such as building 3D elevation maps of Vietnam and Qatar, creating foods and animals out of materials and fabrics, building polystyrene houses, creating fact files and menus. And so we've come to the end of our video about Qatar. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, 
and check out some of the other videos on my channel. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.